Hello YouTube! I'm here with another video and this one is slightly different because I was saying on my Change and Play with Angel video that I was expecting new toys. These are Fingerlings, baby pet monkeys from Wowie Toys and I, when I'm ill or bored or both, I love to look at YouTube videos, gaming videos, toy videos, you know, just anything that will distracticate me. By the way, uh, before I go on, I must give a shout out to Liam Irvin's game channel, Audio Games and other games too, but um, the ones I've seen are Audio Games. It is just so good. If you haven't seen it, please do go check it out. It is youtube.com slash Liam Irvin, L I A M E R V E N. Please like, subscribe, support. He does have Patreon, which I don't because mine is too small as of yet <laughs> and I, I don't need it. So he does need the support because he uses copyrighted stuff for which he has to pay. He needs equipment. So please do um, check him out. If you like him, please do support him. Right. Having said that, uh, he didn't pay me to. I, I really do passionately believe it's a good channel and that's why I want to support it. Right, I saw this thing about fingerlings. There is a very good how to play with your fingerlings video on YouTube which I will link to in the description. They are such cute little baby monkeys. There are several different colours. They come in pink, purple, turquoise, white, light blue, dark blue and black. So you can get girl ones or boy ones. They all have names. They've all been given names. Now, of course, I wanted the pink one, but I couldn't get that one on Prime because I wanted it tomorrow. As of, you know, yesterday, I wanted it tomorrow, not wait two weeks for it. So I ordered Sophie the white one so I could have it today. And I also ordered Bella the pink one so that I could have it in a couple of weeks so I could have two of them. Right, so I've got this little box here. It is quite, they are very small, but they do all kinds of cool stuff. They don't have apps because they're tiny little things, but they interact with you. They react to motion and sound. So we will see what this thing does. I've got the box. It's quite a small box and it looks fairly easy to get into. It's got one of these cardboard backs that you peel away, which I'm just now doing. Oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Back's coming away. Back's off. Just as easy as that. Ha! Huh. That was the outer blister. This is the inner blister. Oh! I thought that was going to be furry. I thought it. Ha I thought it was going to be furry all over, and it's not. It's not. It's actually plastic, so that's a bit of a letdown. Let's, does it have any elastic and things on there? Yes, it does. Oh, uh, we might need some scissors. Batteries are already in this thing. So it should turn on straight away and I should be able to play with it. Play with it. Right, let's get this elastic cut. There's a little tab here. And then there's some elastic. So let's try to cut it without cutting my fingers off. And he, she is out. Okay, what do we have? We have... Let's get the elastic from around her neck so she doesn't get grotted. Oh, she's cute, mind. Even if she isn't fluffy all over. We have a little, I would say, about the length of my hand without the tail. We have a, a little monkey. The arms and legs, do they move? I don't know. But the head moves, you can hear, I'm actually moving it myself, but I think she's going to move that when she turns on. She has a tuft of hair like a Mohican on top of her head. Now, 
on either side of her head is where her sensors are. You can tap her, you can pet her. Her arms and legs are made to grip things, so she's actually on my finger at the moment. Now the next thing I've got to do is find, oh there's the on off switch, which is on the back of her head. Right, now the moment of truth, is she going to work? Yes, she is! Oh my gosh, her eyes move. Hey! I, I'm passing her head. And I'm stroking her. I'm shaking her. Oh, she's happy. That's her singing. <laughs> oh, she blew me kisses. And I'm tapping her head. That's what was making her laugh. And I'm stroking. If I cradle her whole head. Oh, excuse me! <laughs> now I'm gonna hang her upside down from her tail. And apparently she likes this. I'm gonna just swing her. There she goes, she likes that. Now, I quite like this because it's not horrendously loud. She's only small. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> now, if I cradle... Oh, pardon you! Oh, she's cute. Now, I'm going to make her go to sleep. I'm going to lie her on her back in my hand. You're going to go to sleep? She still thinks she's upside down. Come on, you're not upside down yet. Just gonna rock her and see where that gets. And down like a seesaw is better than back and side to side. Oh. Now, you're not supposed to be singing, you're supposed to be going to sleep. Oh, yes, she turns her head. I'm just gonna hang her tail over my finger like that. want to go to sleep it's she's very very sensitive to where which position she's in and I need to get where I got her where she was sleeping I actually got her tail right over my finger so that she was absolutely level on her on my hand like that let's see if she'll do it now 
she just wants to kiss me and play. But she is a cute little thing, and I'm I'm gonna have some fun with her. There, she's right side up again now. When she sings like that is when she turns her head, and um, the way I like to have her actually is easiest for me because my fingers are a bit bigger than a child's fingers. Is with her tail round my little finger. Um, and then I can hold her with the rest of my fingers and she's upright and I can just move her about the easiest and then her head doesn't get fouled by my long finger. Hello, yes. Now if you leave her, she'll get bored. Let's see what happens if I'm just quiet now for a minute. <laughs> All right. I, I edited that, obviously, because I wasn't going to let you listen to a minute of silence. But um, if you don't play with her for a minute, she'll whistle. And if you leave her for any longer than that, she will go to sleep and turn herself off. But, yeah, she's a cute little thing. And I like her. As I said, I would have liked it better if she'd been furry all over. But for fourteen ninety nine. You know, you can't really complain. She has adorable little eyes that actually move. She has a moving head. She has arms and legs that grip onto things. So you can hang them on. I'm going to hang these uh, these two on my curtains. Or on my curtain rail. My bedroom is where all my monkeys collection is. So I think these two are going to look lovely on my curtain rail. Hello. She's a happy girl. What's the matter with you? She's going a bit mad. <laughs> I was tapping her head. <laughs> yes, so she reacts to being blown at, to being breathed on, to being to loud noises. You can clap or snap and she will react. I can't do that because she's, she's on my hand. So you'd have to hang her on something to clap. So, and she's hanging on my finger at the moment. But, yeah, she, she reacts to loud noises. She reacts to you talking. She's, she's actually, I'm not moving her, but she's reacting because she can hear my voice. So really, when you think of it, okay, she doesn't have any fur except on top of her head. But, um, but you know, for... for Oh, kiss it to you, so sweetie pie. For the money, I think you get a lot, you know, a lot of bang for your buck, really. And I have seen much more expensive toys that have given me a lot less fun. <laughs> oh, that's a new one. That's a new one. And from what I've seen from the reviews, she will actually do more the more I play with her. Or oh, that's what they say. <laughs> right, well, I think I've done enough. I, I love it a bit. She's so cute. Right, I shall be off. And uh, I shall get this edited and uploaded. So, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, whatever you'd like to do. I hope you all have a lovely day. Thank you very much and take care. Thanks for watching. You're going to say bye-bye. She even gave you kisses. Bye, everybody.